As COVID-19 cases continue to rise statewide, Governor Tim Walz is warning that positive cases in the pipeline will put Minnesota hospitals under even more strain in coming weeks. He and health officials urged Minnesotans to rethink small Thanksgiving gatherings and stay at home instead. Understanding this, we're making it very clear, and I, I just can't tell you, you need to not gather with people on Thanksgiving outside your immediate family or people who've been quarantined. That's pretty clear. Right now, frankly, any gathering of more than a few people and with more than your immediate household presents a much higher risk than was the case even a couple of weeks ago. So we are asking you. The health guidance is getting more, uh, more conservative in this sense to help us slow the spread of COVID-19 by celebrating only with members of your immediate household. Last week, the governor announced new COVID-19 restrictions for the state, including 10 p.m. closing times for serving food and drinks inside bars and restaurants. The governor said today we should be prepared for more restrictions to come. We made the moves on bars. Um, I, I think as we speak right now, and I have been on nonstop, um, I think it's obvious we're going to have to do more mitigation measures. The thing I would ask is again, and I would ask each of you to do that, Tom frame that of things that the governor is going to do to pull back on the economy. The virus is dictating where this is going, and we have got to get out of this. It's the economy versus the health situation. That's got us into this mess. So we're going to do the best we possibly can on the public health side of it. I have to figure out the social compliance of how far people are going to go. The state today reported 12 new COVID-19 related deaths along with 7,444 new coronavirus cases. The new cases came from 51,207 tests for case positivity rate of 14.5%. In the Lakeland viewing area, there were 433 new cases. The counties with the most today include Crow Wing County with 92, Itasca County reports 66, Todd County with 32, Morrison County 32 as well, and Roseau County had 31 new cases today. There are currently 1,559 people hospitalized with COVID-19, a number that's up 336 from a week ago. Of those hospitalized, 324 are in ICU, up 75 from a week ago. Health Commissioner Jan Malcolm called the numbers very terrifying. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.